Hey family, how are you all dolls and gents? Um, this is the uh, host of the Glam Queen's Kingdom. And um, I'm coming to you all today um, with a different kind of lifestyle video. Um, I'm actually um, going to be talking about uh, no contact. Um, this uh, um, uh, regimen kind of came about in my life where I had to um, break all contact with uh, people, um, specifically in personal relationships um, and others, um, where uh, they were hurting me more than they were helping me. And so I ended up having to implement a plan that would keep me emotionally safe as well as my um, overall well-being um, as a woman um, and as a person. So um, as I um, kind of came upon uh, that particular plan of no contact, um, I had already determined in my mind that um, this was my cutoff. If you cross this particular boundary, there would be no other chances. And not that I hate anyone, because I don't. Um, I've forgiven these people. I've forgiven those relationships. I wish them all well. But God had to really show me what could be done internally for me. And he had to show me um, how and where I kept meeting the same person just in a different body. That's an aha moment where it feels like you've been meeting the same individuals all of your life and all of a sudden it's like, okay, I'm done. I don't want this particular person or people anymore in my life. And um, God allowed me in this one particular situation to say, you know what? This is it. And I have done no contact before, but th I guess over the years, the level of the attacks in those uh, particular personal relationships became more intense and more aggressive, more disrespectful of me as a person and as a woman. And so I said, no, that's it. So I was asking God, like, um, after I had implemented the fact that I'm not contacting you anymore, I'm deleting you from everything that pertains to my life, my well-being, my whereabouts, contact information, everything was blocked. And um, it gave me time to regroup and um, to recover from the uh, mental and emotional uh, instability that I had experienced um, over the, the, the course of those relationships. And so I'm not crazy. I wasn't crazy then. It's just that people that were in my life at the time wanted to make me feel like I was crazy. And at times I felt like, is this really happening? Did they really say that? Did they do that? Why do they think that it's okay? It wasn't, it was never okay. And so God, I was asking him, Lord, how do I heal myself from the inside? How do I, yes, I took the action to go no contact, but how do I get through the brokenness, the hurt, the pain that I experienced, that I felt, that built up over time, that, 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 that nobody really knew about? Maybe I talked to family and friends about it here and there, but how many of you know that after a certain period of time, nobody else wants to hear about your story and what you went through and how devastating it was and, and what that person did and how they did it and how you responded and reacted. I rehearsed those things to so many people, not so many people, but mainly my family, um, that I realized that sometimes the looks on their faces were just like, oh my God, if we hear that one more time, or if we hear about what happened to you one more time, that is going to be it. So anyway, I really had to... Um, go deep, dig deep inside and ask God, Lord, help me, show me those areas in my life where I settled for less than what I knew I deserved. He did just that. But in the midst of all of that, he also gave me the, the, the wisdom to be able to do no contact. And a part of that um, experience was, my healing experience was a book that I made, um, a scrapbook that I made um, that dealt with the pain and the darkness that I felt um, after I went no contact. It was like 
everything that was bottled up inside of me um, over that period of time um, was depicted in this particular book. And it was a scrapbook. God allowed me to make a no contact scrapbook um, where I was able to decorate the book and through that period of time where I was getting the, the stickers and the accoutrements to go into this book, um, God was healing me in that process. And it may sound crazy, it may sound ludicrous and foolish or whatever, but I tell you, God did a work in my heart and my spirit that could not have been done any other way if I had tried to take the time and, and heal it heal my heart and soul in a different way. So anyway, the book that I created is a huge, huge book. I mean, this took months. Um, actually, it took me years, uh, probably about two years to really dig deep and to go in depth into the pain that had built up and, and the, 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 the making sense out of what had happened to me. And a lot of people discount the fact that you can be emotionally abused by a narcissist or narcissists, more than one person abusing you simultaneously at the same time and think that it's okay. It's never okay. So this book covered a multitude of uh, different situations, varying degrees um, of manipulation, hurt, pain um, that I had um, felt over, the, over time. And it allowed me to really put what I felt basically on paper. So to give you a brief uh, uh, look into what I created, here is the, the book, my no contact book. As you can see, it is a bright pink sparkly um, book and it's wrapped in a purple uh, bow. But um, the book depicts um, it's deep, it's graphic, it's very um, interesting, and it's not your typical um, uh, uh, book. So anyway, um, let's get to it. Um, let's just get right into it and go from there as, uh, and see if there's anything in this book that can um, really help you all. Um, maybe, you know, maybe starting a small scrapbook would be helpful just to kind of get your pain out of you and out into the open so that you can deal with it. Um, and so uh, here we go. Let's get right into it.